Hi everyone, Shane Weller from Canberra. It's late at night, but I just had a thought. I just wanted to show you some Kanban hacks. Some of the comments were that you're running multiple products at once, you've got other jobs that you have to do, and you need to be organized as well. Using Kanban, um, we can manage multiple projects, multiple products on the go all at once, just by a simple Kanban hack. Now, it's called Expedite Lanes. In the IT industry, we run Kanban but on the horizontal axis, we can run multiple projects. So we can have a, uh, the project one for one line, project two, and then an expedite lane down the bottom that for items of work that need to get through as fast as humanly possible. We take that process and place it into a small business context. We can do that with expedite lanes. We can run an ebook on one. We can run an ebook that we're just about to start on and we're just doing creative work and we can run those general day-to-day -day tasks that need to be done. And this is how we do it. We simply gather up all the backlog items that we identified previously for our one ebook that we're um, building and place them all up in one area. Then we simply just do a horizontal line. So this is product A and this is product B. And then this one can be for all those items that keep you on awake at night. And we uh, all know people who stay up late at night and think about things and have very noisy minds and just can't get work out of their head. And this is a way in which you can have a post-it notes by the side of your bed and when you're thinking about things, just quickly jot them down. And in the morning when you get up, place them in your backlog. So for example, if I'm going to design my second ebook, uh, I again have to do an intro and a beginning, middle and end, just like I did for the first ebook. And then there's those things that I need to do uh, in my business. For example, I need to reply to emails. I need to set a new event date for my workshop. I need to organize catering. And of course, I need to organize Facebook messaging, a big pardon, Facebook advertising. So there are all the items that I need to do my new backlog, my new general, my product B and my product A. They're still relevant, the uh, vertical columns are still relevant for product B, but they're not so relevant for my normal everyday work. So I can rename them. For example, I might uh, rename this one uh, to do. Doing done and so therefore in my bottom uh, expedite lane I've got to do doing done and that's just general terms to allow us to identify where any item of work is in the value stream so I know that I'm going to do that today that's my today my to-do list for today so I know I'm going to talk I've got capacity to do these uh, backlog items so I bring the event date and reply to emails when I actually have the capacity to do them, I'll pull them, remember we say we pull work from the event date to, uh, to do, to doing. Noting that we, to my previous video of work in progress, where we limit our work in progress. So here we're a one person uh, business, so we'll limit our work in progress to one. Here we'll limit our work in progress to one and one. So at any stage, we can only have one task in play. It's very important to limit the work we do so that we start it, continue doing it until we finish it. Um, and we don't multitask. Once the event date has been organized and published, we can then move it to done. That's my Kanban hack for today. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about um, some more Kanban hacks that I uh, know that uh, might be important to us. If you want to uh, leave your comments, please do so and I'll answer them as uh, quickly as I can. But thanks very much for listening. Cheers.